In this video, this is programming a G70. The previous video I just made was programming a G71, which essentially is a stock removal cycle. So in this video, we're going to use a G70 code. So I kept a lot of stuff from my previous video. So when do you use a G70? Well, most of the time if you're using another tool to do a finish pass, that's usually when you use a G70. You use one tool to rough out the material and just hammer away and get rid of this, all this stock. Then use another tool to come in and do a nice finish pass. So what we're going to do, if you didn't see the beginning of my previous video, uh, I encourage you, go watch it. So you're going to call up your tool for your next uh, your next uh, finishing tool, or I'm sorry, you're going to call up your next tool to do a finish pass. So what you're going to do, I'm going to get rid of this. So let's say your next tool is, say, tool two. Tool two, offset two. And then from there, you write your spindle speed and all that stuff. And I'm not going to go through all that in here. So say you're a rapid. So say you got your spindle speeds and everything already written. Then you're going to rapid to this dimension. Okay, everyone following me already? You're going to wrap it that dimension. That's what we had in the other video. And then all you're going to write, I'm going to erase all this stuff. Okay, I'm back. So I erased that program, and hopefully uh, you remembered everything that I was. It was kind of written. So if you don't remember, you can go back to the old program, and you can kind of just take a picture, and you can follow along. So what I did was I wrapped it to the old dimension as far as out here, where our old can cycle started, our G71. So here. We're going to write, you're going to write all your spindle speeds and everything there, turn on the coolant. You're going to wrap it to here. All you're going to do is write down a G70 P12Q20. And that will pick up the from the other program when you were roughing out all this stuff. And that's all it's going to do. It's, it's actually your finish moves. So remember all the the line moves and then I threw in um, the different sets of feed moves on some of those lines that G70 code will pick up those feed moves that you gave a value to because I had eight thousandths on one line five thousandths on another line and whatever else and that's how that will work and that's all you have to do and then you turn off your coolant wrap it up your X, you know, I just threw that in there, X 10 inches, and then I went 10 inches away, and I turned off the spindle, canceled the tool, and I'm done. In the previous video, I left the U, remember, I left the U code at zero, and the W code, I left at zero. So in order to have the finish pass, you had to leave some material. So what we, you'd have to do, Say we leave, oh, I don't know, 20 thousandths on the U and on the W, we'll leave 10 thousandths. We'll get this out of the way. So in your G71 line, you can switch your U value to 20 thousandths to leave on your X dimension or dimensions. And then in your Z dimensions, you can leave 10 thousandths. So that way, 
you've got some material to do a finish pass to clean up. If you don't leave nothing, if you leave it zero, it's really just cutting air. So, okay, I mean, that's about it. Hopefully it's not too confusing. All right, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this video. Uh, any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, hit subscribe, uh, hit like button, and all that fun stuff. And I'll try and keep making videos, and uh, help. hopefully they help you guys out. Other than that, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.